Um, I want to say a few things just before I excuse you, bro. Yeah, who cares about you? You, you have money to pay me. I love you too, girl. I'll sleep the last time you gave me infection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I warned you guys. <laughs> By the way, talking about infections, why are sinners always sending us NSPPD prayer every morning? <laughs> what God cannot do? Just... Sinners, people that, ah, if you don't know NSPPD, eh, let me tell you, NSPPD is a daily devotional prayer for Christians. They already to say, share the link, share it, share the link. Around 7.30 a.m., somebody will share you the link of NSPPD prayer. Around 12, the person will still post on their WhatsApp saying, you go the hungry me. Which God are you trying to deceive like this? Do you know, do you know when I, I joined NSPPD one time, eh, and for the first time, I started to value my life. If you join NSPPD, eh, let me tell you guys, the kind of prayers you begin to pray in that place, the problems that people are going through, you are enjoying, you know, you that your biggest problem now is erectile dysfunction. You in that place, people are praying for real problem. You begin weird things. That right now, that Pastor Jerry is he's telling the truth. You begin things like this prayer. If you join it, you know what I'm talking about. There is somebody here. There is somebody here. You are having you are having jaundice of the brain. Jaundice of the brain. I'm like, wait, jaundice of the. Some of us, first of all, we don't even have brain. So why did you see jaundice? Do you not know, went to Google this thing? Join this on the brain. I realize that it's a problem that affects the brain. Like they call it connecteros or something. It is a real problem. You be hearing some strange talk. Tuberculosis of the liver. Tuba I'm not kidding. Ask doctors. Tuba you can even Google it. But only that you cannot spell tuberculosis. But Google will help you. <laughs> tuberculosis of the liver. And I checked it and I realized that this is a real problem. But there are some prayers. There are some prayers that Pastor Jerry is used to pray in that place. Eh, that some of people cannot join. Because after they pray, they'll tell you, put it on the live stream, put it on the live stream. If you're online, you should type it, say, I'm the one with the problem. I heard one prayer one time, he was like, there is a man here. I see you. Your manhood is not standing straight. Your manhood. Put it on the live stream. I can bet you that that man was looking at the pastor say, uh, you. If God wants to help me, he will not shame me. You hear me? Which one me say, put it on the live stream. I should not carry my own problem and put it. I'd rather drink Coco Samba and lime. <laughs> That's an excited you, unemployed guy. That, see, I don't blame, I don't blame the rate at which people used to do, used to join prayers in Lagos. If you're in Lagos and you need something divine to move you forward in life. That's why, and it's because the pressure is mad in Lagos. Averagely, people are not really okay. The pressure will nearly run you mad. I'm not making it up. Do you know that neuropsychiatric home and the institution said that, Google it, four out of seven people in Lagos have poor mental health. Poor mental health is another way of saying four out of seven people in Lagos are Danerega. Sorry, are mad. <laughs> sorry, slip of tongue, sorry. Four out of seven people are not okay. Do you know how mad that statistic is? Four out of seven is a mad statistic. That's why you see the pressure in, the pressure in Lagos is a stupid thing. Back to back. Do you know that the average Lagosian eh, does, does not know how to enjoy themselves? That's why if Lagosian is stressed up in Lagos now and you want to loosen up, you will see somebody eh? Have you seen? I saw some one guy that was trying to loosen up. The guy went to bar and was smoking shisha. This one that's having mental problem. He was smoking shisha. <laughs> Puffing out the thing like mini dragon. Mm, the guy was, <laughs> and I told the guy, ah, Baba, be careful. No, no ruin yourself. The guy said, Leave Anjari. I just want to clear my head. My head don't fool. As for your head in a container, or, I don't understand. Or your head in a bush. You want to clear your head. So Nigerians and Lagosians in particular would rather have lung problem than suffer depression mentally. Let me now tell you, there's a good way for you to solve your mental problems. First of all, make sure that you do your best to have fun every time. That's why you come outside for comedy shows. One. Secondly, this is what they suggested, though, not me, your neuropsychiatric home. Said another way to cure your mental problem. I'm ah, sorry, I'm coming to you. Another way to cure your <laughs> another way to cure your mental problem eh, is to try to meditate. And meditation comes in different forms, like yoga. Now I know that when they say yoga, Lagosians don't know any yoga. Oh. The only your hair is a shake song they know. I did all my way. 
yoga is real. One place in Alago Meji, they took me there. They said that yoga is where you meditate and be free so that you don't have the mental problems of life. I went to that place and everybody there. First of all, they are smoking go in yoga center. They are smoking go. In that place, everybody there eh, is just sounding sexual. I'm not kidding. If you go to yoga classes, you'll be hearing rubbish. You'll be hearing things like this. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. Because the instructor, ladies have gone there now. The instructor will be in front. They will sit down on top of mats. Yes, guys. Yes. Let it penetrate your soul. Let it go in slowly. Mm, don't fight it. Go slowly into your body. Yes, it's soft and nice. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, yeah. Put it in. Suck it in. Suck it in. I had one. They were like, stretch your buttocks. Let your anus connect with the earth. I swear, I was already doing it though. I was already stretching. Mm. You know, wait, wait, wait. Let my anus connect. Derele, is that you?